Hey guys, what's going on? This is Master Cloud, and I am back for another cast of the Lord of the Rings, The Rise of the Witch King. Today's battle is going to be a one versus one. It is going to be on the map Fords of Eisen, and it is going to be a user-submitted replay from one of my channel favorites, uh, Fenris, who is going to be spawning in the upper left-hand side as men, and his opponent is going to be spawning on the lower right-hand side as Agmar. It is going to be Game Ranger. Now, of course, uh, Game Ranger here, first time... I am going to be casting him. Uh, his name, however, is very um, appropriate for the, uh, hopefully, the uh, the application these two guys are using, and that is, of course, the Game Ranger application in order to go ahead and do battles now online versus other opponents. If you have the game and want to play, uh, go to Game Ranger, and you can use that site and download that application in order to play online against other people. And it uh, looks like this is going to be a, I'm guessing, a 1K game key because I don't see any units being popped out yet. So it is just going to be a standard game here. Now, there's a couple of things to note about the map. A couple of small warp pits around the map. Uh, nothing serious. I believe there's also a troll. Yes, there is a troll den up here as well, uh, along with the cave troll here tromping around. Uh, I'm not really sure where he's going. I guess he's just, like, patrolling his, his uh, house here because that's what cave trolls do, apparently. And uh, there is also these outposts as well on the map, which you can, or I'm sorry, ends, actually, as uh, they do allow you to, once you capture them, build a special unit from it, depending on, of course, your race. Now, Fenris here, going to be going for tons of farms. An incredible macro build here from Fenris is going to be building an archery range very far from the front of his base. Do not recommend doing this. Uh, Fenris going out a little bit of a limb here. The nice thing about building it up always is you can reinforce more quickly. However, at the same time, you are also much more, uh, it is much more vulnerable, especially being away from your fortress, uh, of course, which does have a, uh, which does shoot uh, arrows at enemies that are near to it. Now, Agmar down here, Game Ranger, is going to be going for, looks like Call of the King's Men, so standard there, getting out of Thrallmaster. Um, macro game oriented as well. We don't see any, like, you know, quick couple of, of, um, Hall of Warriors, um, no additional, really no additional unit production structures, no quick hero, anything like that. So it is just going to be a very standard game here. Does have the one Thrall Master out now. Is going to be throwing down an additional, is this a mine? This is not a good spot for a mine. Nope, it's additional Hall of the King's Men. So he is going to be going for a little bit of, um, so trying to put some pressure on now with that second, um, Hall of the King's Men. We are going to get in Gundabad, Gundabad Warrior Summon here. And that is going to be exactly what Fenris wants to see as his archers are um, just coming out now. So because uh, Agmar here, Game Ranger, went for sort of a delayed rush with these Gundabad warriors, these archers will be able to take them out very easily. However, unless the archers do not see them, and I'm not sure where these archers are going, I guess, to chase down this uh, random bear up here, but... Uh, Game Ranger here notices the archery range, decides not to attack it, and is instead going to go south here. Focusing on this mine that is building. He needs to cancel that before it's finished, but Fenris not paying attention. Does not get to cancel off. Probably too busy recalling his troops. Has two sets of archers out now. Didn't realize he already had one set out. And um, so he is going to go ahead and lose this farm. Does not decide to cancel it. Does not decide to destroy it. So he will not get any uh, additional income from that. He does have three units of archers out now. An additional unit of Gundabad Warriors showing up here. However, they run into way too many archers to deal with and are going to immediately begin to flee to the north. They might find a mine up here, but is it going to, or are they going to have enough firepower to actually take it out? I don't think so. Uh, needs to set them to aggressive stance if he does begin to attack, attack it. But uh, instead of just going to be using this mainly for scouting, uh, the same with these on the right hand side here. Does have that second hall of the king's men complete now. Uh, what he could do is start to save up a couple Thrallmasters, possibly get out Hwaldir and go for uh, sort of a little bit of an all-in uh, with a huge attack from all of them. These Gundabad warriors are going to go down. The orcs on the top side as well, taking a lot of damage from these archers. Additional archers going to be coming in from the right-hand side. And I don't know. They might actually get this. They are dealing a pretty amount of, pretty good amount of damage here. does have them in the aggressive stance. But uh, if he loses the Thrallmaster, he will lose the warriors. With the last three there, though, they do manage to go ahead and finish that off. So a uh, little bit of luck, but um, does manage to take that out there. Two additional barracks now, and it is going to be 
tons of soldiers in the front to protect the archers. And all of a sudden, uh, this is looking to be, and a game ranger is looking to be in a lot of trouble here. Does have quite a few Thrallmasters here. Now, what is his only chance right now, uh, I think, is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be the Wolf Riders. He needs to summon several, several units of Wolf Riders, uh, three or four, I would say, and start just mowing down these units uh, with the trample damage. That's really going to be his only chance. Does have a couple additional mines going up around, uh, but it does bring up the Thrallmasters. Does actually go for the original strategy, though, and that is going to be a wall deer with a ton of units here. These soldiers, oh, wow, that is a lot of axe throwers. And the soldiers do get a nice uh, get around the backside, so the extras are going to have to reposition in order to take them out. But uh, this should be a quick, easy kill for all these axe throwers. And yeah, they barely get any damage. The soldiers barely get any damage off on that. Now, archers and additional uh, swordsmen showing up here to begin to do damage here. This Thrallmaster needs to summon something before he dies, and he is going to get it off. And of course, when the Thrallmaster uh, summons, he does go ahead and regain full health for himself. Um, so if he's taken any preliminary damage, he will go ahead and regen that to full. Um, that is a very interesting uh, mechanic of the game. Now, Hwaldir here beginning the charge, and Fenris is looking to be in a lot of trouble. He just has no way to deal with this many axe throwers. And uh, there's additional warriors. Is there more units coming out? Yes, there is. So I'm not sure why Hwaldir is retreating here. Possibly doesn't want to get him too far down. However, uh, at this point, Fenris in a lot of trouble. Game Ranger has got him on the run. Uh, falling back has additional soldiers coming out now. Would love to see our hero out of Fenris as this is a very um, sort of low cost, low build game as these units or as these players are basically just spamming all types of different units. Hwaldir is a little bit in the back here. Needs to move up to the front. He has him on defensive stance. So all of a sudden, all of these units are not getting the leadership bonus that Hwaldir provides. And finally, Hwaldir is like, oh, maybe I should be part of this battle, and decides to go ahead and move forward. But all of these units, um, they're just standing around. The, the choke here is definitely favoring Fenris, as he just has all these archers in the back just uh, launching tons of arrows. Has already used his rally call. So... Otherwise, it would be. A, I was thinking it would be a great time to use it right there. But uh, Hwaldir is managing to get a couple of kills here. Uh, but I think with the archers in the back, Fenris is just doing a ton of damage here. Although, Hwaldir's leadership bonus is proving to be possibly too much here. And uh, actually, interestingly, when they're standing in the water here, the leadership bonus doesn't show up. I'm sure they receive it. But uh, now the Wolf Riders are going to be coming out as well. And uh, Faramir is the chosen hero here for Fenris, apparently going for a very heavily archer, um, you know, strategy. And why are these units receiving a bonus? I'm not sure why they are yellow, but uh, they will begin falling back here. And now, like I was saying in the beginning, this uh, structure is in a lot of trouble. It's way out here in the front. Wolf Riders and it looks like all the troops actually going to be moving to the north here to take out a couple of... Uh, farms. Not sure if that's the right choice. I think he might have been able to get that had he pushed forward, but he is going to go ahead and choose to do the economic damage instead. The Wolf Riders get a great run through, but there's so many archers that they stop and uh, begin fighting here as they get sort of clogged as they run through. And uh, are these archers... These archers are all just standing here. He needs to tell these archers to attack. He's lost all of his troops to the north, so he's going to lose all his archers down here as well. There's just too many Wolf Riders. And where is Faramir? I don't know what Faramir is doing over here. Faramir in a ton of trouble now. And that is going to be it for the forces of Gondor, I think. Uh, Fenris now in a ton of trouble himself. As I, I, don't, I don't agree with this. He definitely needs to come down here and finish off this um, archery range so no more units can be produced. But instead he's going to be moving up here to the north. Uh, does have a couple of soldiers around the bottom here, two units of Gondor soldiers going to be taking out uh, one or two mines here or there, but uh, the Gundabond warriors that were just summoned in and that uh, oh, what's it called again? Arctic Wind, I believe? Felwind is going to be pulling those units in way too much. He does get the 10 powers menu, so he can go ahead and spend that as soon as he uh, as soon as soon he wants to. I believe he does here. He can go ahead and get the summon orcs, uh, which is a 10 unit spell. 
does have Karsh out now as well. Love Game Ranger's Choice and Heroes here. Karsh, one of my favorite heroes in the game. Uh, you do go ahead and see who he is in the single player campaign. As he is a, um, I believe, it's been a long time, guys, so so don't, you know, don't quote me on this, but I believe he was a Prince of um, Dale, maybe? He was a Prince of, he was a Prince of something, Cardigan, maybe? And I'm, but I'm not sure on that, but uh, anyways, these units still re wrecking havoc here to the north of the base of Fenris. The Rally Call is back now. The upgraded Gondor Tower Guards are out, uh, but more mines continue to fall looks like these soldiers maybe these last three soldiers right here pounding away at this mill and uh, one goes down but there is one more now and I do not think they're gonna get it as these soldiers get stabbed in the back by too many warriors and Fenris unable to go ahead and capitalize on that uh, end around attack Hualdir now up to level 5 able to use his summon hillman ability as well as the Gundabad Warrior, and Fenris here in a ton of trouble. Is Faramir still alive? The answer is yes, but he's only at level 2. The Gondor Tower Guards continuing to fall. Again, they're not attacking, they're just standing here. And, uh, oh my goodness, this is definitely not what you want to have happen with your Tower Guards, as they are just tanking the damage, but uh, not for much longer as they do all fall. And I think Fenris here is going to have to... Surrender this game. Is Hwaldir dead? Did Hwaldir die? I didn't see it if he did, but either way, no, he did go ahead and retreat. Was low on health, so managed to get out of there. And Fenner's finally able to clean up this, uh, this obscursion in the... Actually, is that, uh, is that the right word? Obscursion? Uh, I'm, I'm sticking with it, but, uh, uh, I'm curious if that's actually the right word to use there. Anyways... Uh, these warriors in the south side still dealing tons of damage. They do find an additional farm. We do have Gollum here uh, sneaking around by the farm, possibly looking for a tasty treat to eat. And um, will not get spotted by these troops as they do come down. He is going to run away there to the south. Now these units, these armies are going to um, collide here. The Wolf Riders need to go around the back if possible. Oh, the Thrallmaster is going to die. If Thrallmaster dies, the whole unit will die. But he does manage to survive there and needs to get out of there right away. These Gunbad Warriors securing his retreat uh, from the additional forces here. And Fenner starting to recover here. Does have a couple of units. Does have the upgraded Rangers now as well. Uh, did notice that a little bit earlier. And Faramir, I believe, is still alive. But where is he is the question. Uh, is he with this group? I don't think so. Uh, looks like, oh, it looks like he's actually here. So we do have, looks like Faramir is going to, and his, and his sort of band of warriors here, able to take out all of those orcs and now going to be pushing through on the south side. Is going to possibly get a one mine, possibly two or three. Uh, actually should go for this one very weak, so that could be a good cleanup pickup for him as well. And uh, does have additional units moving towards the front. However, look at how many units are out here. And there goes the summon. Waldir now full health, level 5, Karsh as well. And my computer is lagging because of how many units he just summoned in. And there we go, it's going to be all axe throwers. Does have the sorcerers as well and the Well of Souls spell. A very good spell. Probably my favorite uh, spell is going to be the Well of Souls. But uh, anyways, the sorcerers not actually involved in the battle right now. He's going to go ahead and let the axe throwers clean this up. Doesn't quite want to reveal the sorcerers yet. And does have the Wolf Tower expansion as well. Uh, a great expansion for the fortress to go ahead and provide some protection. So, Game Ranger here looking to have an incredibly scary force. Um, on the other side, it looks like, yes, he did go ahead and clean up that mine over here. Fenris going to be sort of scouting around still with his with his sort of raiding parties here almost. And uh, we'll go ahead and take out possibly an additional mine. However, this has been spotted and... It is going to bring the full wrath of Angmar down upon him. These units need to retreat, and I think he sees that they are coming. So he is going to go ahead and fall out there. Fire taking the last couple of pot shots, but I don't think it's going to be enough uh, to actually take that out. And these units need to get out of there right away and regroup. Does have a ton more units back here at base. Uh, looks like they have been sort of rebuilding. Could build a fountain to go ahead and help those units regen there. Uh, so he doesn't have to actually build an entirely new um, unit. Here's a random elk sort of passing by. 
uh, through the land, even though Faramir is standing right here and shooting arrows that could easily kill him. He's just like, eh, um, I'm too lazy to actually, uh, actually he's moving towards Faramir. He's like, why are you shooting my favorite, uh, mill? But, uh, Faramir, I guess, just going to continue to work on that mill, and, uh, Game Ranger is not really bothering him. So he's going to be moving up here to the north with all of his units. Does have the Sorcerers. Needs to throw down the Well of Souls if possible. If he can get the Well of Souls down right here, this game is going to be over. But is he paying attention? Does summon the Well of... Does use the Well of Souls, and that is going to be pretty much it for these forces here as... Uh, actually uses the Freeze... Or, no, he does use the uh, Black Ice Spell to weaken those units as well. And then uses it again on the south side here. Great use of the sorcerers. Look how many race there are now. And these race, of course, whenever they kill a unit, multiply. Uh, the unit that dies becomes a wraith as well. And uh, that is going to be no good for Fenris as he just lost his entire army. Goes ahead and throws down a rebuild here. Uh, but there's just way too many race here. These they are they do time out, but uh, not before they go ahead and finish off that uh, archer range. Karsh doing tons of damage down here on the bottom as well. Faramir lost and forgotten, continuing to work on this uh, mine in the bottom. I uh, guess he did not want to go ahead and join his uh, men in triumphant death to the north of his current position. So instead he's going to stay down there for now. Sorcerer is beginning to regen a couple of their uh, spellcasters here, their tributes. And um, this army is looking way too powerful. He should have an, probably another army. Yes, he has five Thrallmasters back at base. Has more queued up. Needs to build additional mines. But also has the... Oh, I thought I saw a wolf and troll den. Yes, I did. So he does have the wolf and troll den as well. Upgrading that. Does have the snow wolves out as well. And the upgraded uh, Dark Iron Forge here. So very smartly playing this out is going to be Game Ranger. Karsh now up to level four. Waldir up to level seven. Does have that summon Hillman ability. Well of Soul down, goes down once again. Aragorn is now out, but Aragorn being focused by all the Axtors and deals is, receives way too much da damage. Faramir now showing up from the bottom side, but it's going to be too little too late as uh, these units begin to fall. Looks like this building slowly burning down. I don't know why that's on fire, but uh, possibly from, from earlier. And uh, buildings actually don't burn down in this game, so it's actually just burning. Uh, but in the meantime, Faramir continuing to work on this group from the south side. Unfortunately, Faramir is just not the best hero. I would have gone with Boromir here, I think, um, as he is generally considered to be a better hero than Faramir. Uh, Faramir is just not powerful enough here. Uh, does have the leadership bonus now that he is up to level 6, possibly received from destroying that mine, which took him only like 700,000 years. And uh, needs Faramir to get up near these troops so they can gain the leadership bonus. Now, uh, do realize that Hwaldir's leadership bonus is, or uh, Faramir's leadership bonus, vastly outweighs um, or is quite superior to Hwaldir's. Hwaldir's only does 20% damage and 20% armor, where Faramir's is going to do, I believe, 50% damage and 50% armor, as well as the double experience. Does Hwaldir offer double experience? No, he does not. So Faramir's um, leadership bonus here, far, far superior. But he actually needs to be in close to those troops. And he was standing at so far of a distance there that, uh, ooh, we do have the Mountain Giant Summon here, and that is going to possibly be the nail in the coffin to this Fortress Fenris in a lot of trouble here. Goes and, th uh, and throws down the Rally Call. Needs to take out these Mountain Giants very quickly before this Fortress takes too much damage. But I think uh, with that Summon and that Felwind, that this uh, Fenris is in a ton of trouble here. Where is Faramir? He's slowly whittling down these mountain giants, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it fast enough. Additional rocks. No, he did not get that one off. Uh, this giant going to be continuing to throw rocks, though. And I think this fortress is going to fall. Actually, he's now focusing on the troops instead, deciding to instead go for the units here and then worry about the fortress uh, as a secondary option. Uh, does actually go back to the fortress now. So this mountain giant switching in between. Does get off one last rock. And the fortress is down to about uh, one-fourth health. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe two-thirds. But in the meantime, uh, Fenris here going to be losing his, uh, an additional uh, archery range. Did lose his first one earlier. Does have the stables out. And is upgrading it. But right now what he needs is units. 
as uh, these forces continuing to push forward here and destroy more and more of his mines. He's going to have an army to back this up as well. Does have a couple of wolf riders, sorcerers, and a ton of thrallmasters. Needs to bring these up and reinforce this, this a little bit quicker. But uh, this is actually Rohirrim going to be coming out now. But I don't know if they're gonna actually going to even get out in time. Waldir can almost summon the Hill, uh, use his summon Hillman ability again. And of course, once he gets to level 10, this ability will level up and uh, refresh the timer. So Waldir here needs to stay, I would definitely think. And ooh, the rebuild goes down at the last second, so the horse, the Rohirrim, will get out. Karsha looks like he's going to stay for now. I think that's probably a good idea because he can teleport out if need be. Uh, and actually, it might be a good time to teleport out. Walder goes ahead and uses his Summon Hillman ability now that that has regen. Karsh going to fall back a little bit here. Faramir dealing a lot of damage, but here comes the Rohirrim, although they run in right into the Pikemen. Lose two units instantly. Surprisingly, it was the two units in the back. Not sure how that happened. But uh, Waldir here, actually full health. Not sure why he's retreating. Definitely think he needs to stay here. Faramir is going to be attempting to chase him down while uh, these guys poke him in the rear. But I think with these troops here, uh, these Seelmen are going to fall. And Fenris able to survive for another moment or two. Uh, but how long is that going to last as... Game Ranger here has just a ton and ton of units. Oh, there goes the summon, and there comes the lag. As it once again, uh, apparently uh, Game Ranger loving the Axorus actually does go ahead and summon three units of pikemen as well. Hwaldir needs to get down here, get in with this group. Uh, would love to sh see, uh, I think, Rogash. Rogash would be the right choice. Karsh did have to go ahead and use his blink ability to teleport himself away out of danger, but he will begin to heal up now. On the north side, it looks like these hobbits are going to be sent to deal with a couple of wargs as they have been working down this farm that Thunders put up here a little bit earlier, as he has been trying to rebuild some of his infrastructure. Does have Boromir out now as well. Just doesn't have the, uh, just doesn't have the infrastructure to go ahead and continue producing that many units though. Uh, does he have a farm down here? I don't think so. Yes, he does. He does have one. Uh, so maybe three or four farms scattered around the field. This f oh, f Farmer didn't actually even destroy this mine, so it continues to survive and is now going to be rebuilt. This is uh, the hero mine down here on the s on the bottom or the mill rather. Really, they're all farms, but. Uh, the correct language here is going to be mill for Agmar. For um, for for men, of course, it is farms. I believe, yes. Yes, it is farms. And these farms have, of course, upgraded. Now, this one is level 3, so it does gain that additional uh, archer archery ability. And uh, for the third time, it looks like Fenner is going to be rebuilding his archery range. Would love to see him go up to fire arrows, but... Um, for now, it looks like he's going to have bigger problems to deal with as a huge troop of Agmar warriors are going to be crossing the River Ruin. And uh, actually, I don't know if this river's name is Ruin or not, but uh, the Fords of Eisen, rather. And uh, going to be crossing that. Now, Hwaldir is not with this group yet, so they aren't receiving the leadership bonus while Faramir is here, granting his. And finally, Hwaldir shows up, begins to offer that bonus, throws down the fell one. Does he have the summon orc ability as well? Uh, it looks like the answer is going to be no, not yet. Does have the war chant though. He could use that on his troops right now, as that would actually help. And we do have the well of souls going down from the sorcerers. The the horsemen coming in from the back though, actually taking out most of the sorcerers. And if these units actually don't, there's actually not enough damage here to to deal to these units. So wraiths are not actually being born. One or two, only two wraiths managed out of that Well of Souls. And uh, I think Hwaldir, no, he is in the back here, does get to level 10. Needs to summon his Hillman right away. Farmir, level 10. So the Hillman summoning is going to prolong this battle just a little bit. Karsh now showing up to the battle, but uh, or trying to get to the battle, but he's showing up quite late. Need to get him here earlier, as he could have taken out Farmir. And of course, Farmir is going to be the focus here, I think, because of that leadership bonus. Uh, if you lose Faramir, if he loses Faramir, he will lose uh, sort of the battle and thus possibly the game. Karsh is going to be going for him, needs to use his ability here and does begin to use that, will begin to drain the health of Faramir and there's just no way Faramir can stand up to Karsh. Because that ability is way too powerful. And with Faramir out of the game for, uh, for now, uh, the Hillman troops are going to be 
uh, able to deal and receive deal more and receive less damage. Walder still at good health. Karsh as well, although the troop shortage is uh, troubling here as he's not going to be able to actually do anything once he cleans up this army. The horsemen coming from the north are going to be able to take out a couple of these axe throwers. And we'll go ahead and retreat out of there now. I'd like to see maybe some uh, Coda. And, uh, you know, Fortress Just Bormir now finally coming down is up to level 2. And additional units of Gondor Tower Guards out now as well. It looks like Fenner's actually able to hold this for now. Karsh able to take out Boromir though. Karsh now taking out both of the um, the of the brothers there. I actually don't know their last name, surprisingly. But then goes ahead and teleports out of there as he's like, okay, I've killed, you know, two champions of Gondor. I will go ahead and uh, you know, fall back for now. And is this guy like just Everybody see this? Like, this guy is, is hard at work on this grass right here. Man, fix that grass, man. That is that is some tough work he's doing right there. And uh, he goes ahead. Okay, he's done. Now he's just going to stand around. I think that's for repairing that. Uh, and look at this farmer here. Now he's showing up and is going to begin to till the land as that, uh, as that farm is completely restored to full health. Now we are going to be seeing uh, Fenris move out on the map here with a couple of units. Um, Farmir, I believe, was back out on the field. Did I see him? Um, no, maybe not. So it looks like he is going to be still rebuilding him. But uh, all of these tower guards disperse, sort of, uh, to go ahead and begin to deal damage to some of the mines around the map, clear up some of the structures. would like to see him possibly grab that in as well. Uh, looks like these builders are on the run here. And they are going to get spotted by these Gunner Tower guards. And this one might get intercepted. Do they have enough damage to actually kill it before he can get away? If he loses both of his builders here, that's kind of a big deal. As they are expensive to rebuild. And he is going to lose both of them. So not paying attention there a little bit. And he is instead going to be building up his fortress. Adding tons of watchtowers. As well as a catapult. A wolf and troll den. So this game is going to go on for quite a while. Is massing up. The Snow Trolls, does he have the upgraded blades? Yes, he does. Does he have the upgraded armor? Yes, he does. So these Snow Trolls, incredibly powerful. The only thing they don't have is, of course, the Banner Carrier needs to upgrade the Hall of Warriors in order to get that, or to purchase it at the Hall of Warriors, rather. Looks like this mine, the Hero Mine, finally going to go down. Karsh beginning to work on a couple of these Tower Guards, but they might actually finish this off. Uh, if they don't, these will. So it looks like uh, the mine situation is becoming a little desperate here for Agmar. does have quite a few to the north, however, there is a farm there as well. And the Snow Trolls now is moving out. Look how quickly they run. And they will begin to move north to go ahead and begin dealing damage there. The mine on the south side falls. Karsh in a little bit of trouble, does not have blink up, so he is going to have to run away. But look at this huge army that has uh, been built up here by Fenris. Does he have the flame arrow upgrade? No, he's going to need that if he wants to deal actual damage to this fortress. He's absolutely going to need that. And these Gunner Tower Guards giving their life down here at the bottom in an attempt to chase down Karsh, who did make it away. It only deal a tiny amount of damage to that. Uh, I think a, a senseless loss of life there. But, uh, but anyways, looks like these trolls going to actually, actually bypass... This mine, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what he's thinking he's going to do with these. It looks like they will be going for this mine or this farm instead. Meanwhile, the attack at the front of the base is going to be easily thwarted here as a ton of Gundabad warriors show in, as well as the Felwin. And I think uh, Hobbits being summoned as well. This is a pretty epic battle here as the catapult rains in, taking out a couple of archers there. A couple of them actually get up from it, though, have like one health probably. And uh, this attack here easily, easily thwarted uh, by Game Ranger. And suddenly, uh, this game is basically looking to be anyone's game. It's, it's hard to say who is actually in the lead now. These horsemen going to be falling to these trolls. Tom Bombadil does get the summon, though. 
and I think that with Tom Bombadil here, these Snow Trolls are going to be taking a little bit too much damage, and they will begin to retreat. Uh, can they actually get away, though, is the question. Um, I guess, yes. So, looks like they will be managing to escape for now. At the meantime, Karsh going to be falling back as well. Did actually use Whisper of Death on a hero there. I didn't see which one it was, but I assume either Farmir or Boromir who was back out on the field. Uh, looks like Farmir is alive right now, so possibly it was Boromir. But we will just never, uh, we will never know. Unless, of course, I go back and rewatch the replay, which I'm not going to do. Uh, because this is a pretty long game. We're already at 30 minutes. Uh, and this game can go on for quite a while yet as it isn't clear who is in the lead. Um, there's just so much uh, infrastructure here for uh, Game Ranger. These trolls continue to survive here. And a unit of Gondor Tower Guards, uh, this is not where they want to be. I'm not sure why they're coming down here, but it looks like Fenris going to be building up a huge force. Does have a couple of Gondor Knights. I think that was probably a mistake. I don't think he meant to build those, as those are horrible units. Does have an additional archery range. I'm not sure why he's not going for fire arrows. It doesn't make sense to me. But um, guys, just so you know, fire arrows are really good at destroying buildings and dealing damage so definitely recommend uh, getting them but um, for now Fenris is just going to be going for additional units it looks like these Condor Knights just searching around for additional mines are not going to find anything quite yet Karsh able to take out those troops with ease would like to see Rogash I think out of Game Ranger here and these Condor Knights are actually going to be useful here as they do go ahead and find a mine. I actually think they should chase down the builder if they can. Eh, that's pretty dangerous. So instead, they will just be working on this mine. Trolls coming down here from the north though, and I think that they are going to be easily able to deal with this. So as these two guys just build up their uh, armies here, we are going to speed up the game here a little bit and wait until until the next battle as these guys are basically just building up tons of armies here and finally it looks like Agmar is done does have the upgraded uh, ice throwers here and should be pretty close to getting that wolf no actually decided to go for avalanche instead so he does have avalanche available as soon as the battle begins what does Fenris have available basically nothing um, rebuild rally call and heal which is not going to be sufficient to sort of match the power and spells of Agmar here. And Fenris does have Boromir out, Aragorn still only level 1. Definitely not what you want to see this late in the game. Faramir, oh please tell me he's not trying to work down this rebuilding mine. Uh, yes he is, a rebuilding work pit, as he is never going to ever get it down. And these mountain trolls actually if they spot him here hidden in the woods could take him out, needs to focus him if possible. But this huge troop of, of units here. Did I like not see any heroes in here? Are there heroes in here? Karsh? Okay, they are in here. But Hwaldir can't offer that bonus. Now, it looks like tons of wolves actually going to be showing up here. I've never seen anyone build this much units. Finally, we do see fire arrows out of Fenris. And those fire arrows just dealing devastating damage to this wolves. I don't think this was the right composition to build. Heal goes down. Rally Call goes down. And Karsh here able to kill somebody. Uh, possibly Aragorn. But uh, the horn goes down. And there's just... This, this battle is just insane. I don't even know who's going to win. Uh, additional units showing up for Fenris here. And Agmar looking to be in a lot of trouble. Does throw down the Felwyn. Is going to charge the north with some of these uh, mountain trolls. And with that archery, that actually didn't do very much. It does have a catapult out now as well. So we're going to see uh, everything, including the kitchen sink, thrown uh, at Game Ranger from Fenris here. And he is going to lose a lot of those mountain trolls. The fire arrow is just doing sick amounts of damage. Uh, the black Numenorians going to fall as well. They just can't stand up to this much firepower. 
with the additional uh, ranged units here. Gundabad Warrior is going to be summoned in instead. Has Avalanche been used is my question. The answer, no. And the bigger question, why not? He needs to drop Avalanche, needs to drop those Mountain Giants. Uh, and go ahead and finish the battle that way, possibly. Karsh and Hwalir retreating here. But uh, Venner's holding his ground. I thought he was going to get absolutely stomped in that battle. But um, with the Fire Archers, I think um, that did sort of turn the tide. And um, he is going to be pushing out now. Doesn't have actually any heroes to sort of back this up with, though. And without heroes, I'm not sure this army can survive against uh, this. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. As uh, we will go ahead and speed this up until we get to the attack here. And uh, here begins the attack. As the, oh gosh, the hobbits. Just a mass grave of hobbits right here. As they get summoned and killed immediately. We do have the Rohirrim being summoned though. And they are going to be able to deal a ton of damage as well as Tom Bombadale to all of these archers. All of a sudden Fenris looking to be in a great position. However, he doesn't have a lot of additional uh, tr of heroes to back this up. A lot of additional fire archers, I mean to say. And uh, the race summon does go down. However, I think there's enough units here where that uh, the race are not actually going to be that much of a problem. And suddenly, um, Game Ranger here looking to be in a little bit of trouble. Not so much that he's in trouble of losing his fortress, but more that he's in trouble of sort of getting sort of back into a corner here. Going to be losing that mill as well. The race do go down. We do have the one catapult. Could begin to bombard the fortress here. Is instead going to begin to going for looks like this mill. The units are now right up against the sort of the fortress here, but he has this fortress is so beefy that I'm not sure it's going to be enough to actually take it down or to really deal any real damage to it. Finally, we get some additional fire archers here. They can begin to work down the buildings very quickly. And needs to start focusing some of these unit production structures. Uh, is instead going to go for the mill for now. Um, Ice Trolls from the south, though, going to get a great run by here. And Fenris losing a lot of his fire archers. And in fact, actually going to be losing all of those, as well as his catapult. Uh, has begun to continue to reinforce here. Uh, would love to see Koda out right now. Just a uh, sneak attack to destroy a bunch of stuff. But additional catapults now out from Agmar, and Agmar going to be able to clean up this battle. So the battle continues. Uh, Agmar able to hold your Boromir. Probably not the best place for him right now, uh, as he is going to be taking a lot of damage. Karsh can go ahead and begin to use that ability to take him down, but uh, the swordsman or the um, Gunner Tower guards going to be able to provide a buffer to allow him to retreat there. And this Rohirrim is a beast mode <laughs> as he finally goes down after taking, after fighting off like five wolves and like two catapults. And uh, once again, we do have sort of a stalemate here as the battle will continue. Incredibly long game here. We will speed up to the next battle here as both of these players have just uh, basically been sort of amassing armies and then throwing them against each other each time neither one uh, sort of decisively able to win the battles. Karsh here going way too far forward though. He's run into way too many pikemen and Karsh is going to go down for sure. Boromir grabs the experience off of that. The summon hel helmet ability goes down as well but with the catapult and the fire archers in back uh, the Felwyn going to be coming in way too late. And now Hualdir is sort of stuck himself back in this battle as well. And I think Hualdir going to go down here as well. And that could be the nail in the coffin for Game Ranger. At the same time, to the north, uh, these units of Snow Trolls going to begin working down some of the mines. However, can they is the question. As there's a lot of damage here coming out from these farms. They are level 3 and this archery range level 3 as well. Additional unit of archers as well, so I don't think these snow trolls are going to be able to do nearly as much as um, as he perhaps thought that they could. I don't know why he isn't using. He does have 27 power points. Uh, has avalanche in his pocket. I can't understand why he isn't using some of these heroes' powers 
uh, to deal the damage that he, he needs to deal. In the meantime, a giant attack going to be happening at the base of, of uh, Game Ranger here. And a lot of fire archers here could mean devastating damage. And we do have the 25 hero power going off the earthquake to deal the damage to the fortress. And uh, But at the same time, we do have the wolf being summoned. Boromir goes flying right into the camera and is going to land right on his ass. Uh, does manage to survive, but uh, just barely. And uh, with that, uh, the wolf cleans up, the, the, the shade of the wolf cleans up the fortress at his front door and is now going to be moving in. Has he used his avalanche ability? Uh, he has, it looks like. So we use that as well. I'm not sure where, possibly to clean up uh, the additional troops there. I didn't see it go down, but it's going to begin rebuilding this fortress now. And uh, the wolf going to be running to the back here. I think he needs to begin working down. Yes, I think that the archer ranges is should be his focus. He needs to use, uh, I believe it is going to be call the pack here. And does go ahead and use that to deal the damage there to a lot of those buildings. The archer range goes down. Uh, and I think now Fenris is in a lot of trouble. He looked to be in great position there, but so many powers in the back pocket of of uh, Agmar here, as well as the Gundabad Warriors. So I think what needs to happen right now is um, these units need to go ahead and focus this fortress. If he can get the focus fortress down, it's going to be a good game. A huge army moving in from the front as well. Fenris just does not have... Uh, the units here. He's actually sent some units to the top. I don't know why, what these units are doing up here, but he needs to protect his base. But I think there's just way too much damage here. And Fenris is going to be throwing down the heal, but it's just not going to be enough. Additional units showing up here. Hawaldir leading his forces of Hillman to victory. And the wolf here going to time out, but the mountain giants going to remain. And uh, I think there is enough damage here to go ahead and completely destroy this fortress. The Knights of Delamroth are now out, but too little too late. Uh, they will be able to work on these mountain giants really quickly. But uh, Fenris just doesn't have... He just does not... Without the without his fortress, he just has no way to hold this off. The stream of units from uh, Agmar. Those Knights of Delamroth do take off both mountain giants. Uh, not sure where these units are going, or why they're going. But uh, he loses an additional barracks here. A couple units of tower guards remain, but um, not nearly enough. And the more important question is, does Fenris have a builder? If he doesn't have a builder, he actually cannot rebuild his fortress. And of course, when your fortress is down, your powers do not regen and you cannot cast them. So as his fortress is down, you can see here, even though he might have you know, Earthquake or Summon Rohan allies, uh, it's just not, he, he can't use them without his fortress. They are, they are dead to him. And that's why your fortress is such an important part of the game. Karshi are going to begin to work on some of those Knights of Glamroth. But uh, I think that um, Karsh actually going to fall back here momentarily. Faramir in the back here. Karsh is going to get run down though. He does not have Blink available. So he will go ahead and fall to these Knights of Glamroth. Does manage to take out all of them. Karsh is a beast. Karsh is a beast. Faramir needs to kill him, though. He does manage to get the final shot there. And uh, at this point, Fenris is... I think I think his game is over for Fenris. Uh, has, you know, three buildings here. This one's on fire, barely alive. He's trying to build a catapult. But he doesn't have enough money for... Well, how much money does he have? Uh, he only has 2,000, so he doesn't have enough to rebuild a fortress. The fortress, of course, is... I believe it is 5,000. So instead, um, you know, yeah, I don't even see a builder on the map for him. So instead, he's just going to build up a final sort of army here. Cannot rebuild heroes, so as soon as Faramir dies, he will be gone uh, for the remainder of the game. And these, um, these Hall of the King's men here are still alive down here, just barely, but uh, able to survive. These buildings are so dark. I don't know why the game does that, but uh, it does uh, disallow me to select on them and turn the buildings really dark. Uh, meanwhile, a group of archers going to be moving here to the north, possibly to take out this uh, to take out this farm. And I think that's probably the right choice right now because 
he cannot rebuild that farm. As soon as his farm is gone, he cannot rebuild it because he does not have a builder. And taking away his sources of income is going to be a great way to sort of whittle down whittle down Fenris and finish him off. We do have, it looks like Karsh being rebuilt, does go ahead and come out of the fortress. And I think, uh, although I, th he probably could just win with a straight up attack. Um, as these units, well, maybe not, there's a lot of units here. So we are going to go ahead and speed it up here to watch, I think, what is going to be the final battle here. Faramir leading his troops to the south. But remember, um, Fenris has no... He has no powers. All of his powers are dead to him. On the mean, or on the reverse side, Agmar has Felwind. He has War Chant, Frozen Land, a bonus as well, and the race does, and as well it has 21 additional power points that he can spend right now. Not sure why he isn't. Hill Troll is going to be out now as well. These units need to return. He has a ton of archers to the north here. He needs to bring these back down to defend his fortress. If he can defend this attack, it's going to be over. Does instead use the arrow drop ability, and all of those units in the front get just arrow dropped to death. Does begin, does have a lot of, or does have these two catapults dealing a lot of damage with the upgrade, upgraded uh, fire stones. Does get one final throw off. But it's just not going to be enough as these units get easily cleaned up here by the forces of Agmar trying desperately to take out that fortress but just could not do the damage that he needed to do. And I think uh, Faramir here is alive but for how much longer Karsh has spotted him and begins to charge and uh, is going to probably use that ability. Oh yeah and Faramir dies almost instantly. And with Farmer down, additional units now being summoned. Uh, what does Fenris have? Uh, nothing. And I think that is going to be it for Fenris. Although a valiant effort, a game of back and forth um, that looked to be won by both players uh, at, at certain points. And uh, at this point, Egmar just basically focusing the infrastructure uh, of Fenris because he knows as he takes out those mines... There is no, they are not being rebuilt. Uh, there's no more production structures on the way. And uh, all he can basically do is throw a couple of tower guards and a couple of, he can't even throw archers at him anymore because he didn't have them. So archers and uh, horsemen is basically all he can produce. And uh, so he knows that all he has to do is whittle him down here and he has the game won. And he's actually expanding uh, around the map as well with, the, with his own mines. To go ahead and secure the secure sort of the map, secure foothold position. As uh, yeah, look at the battle of or look at the the base here of Game Ranger, and I think Game Ranger is going to be your victor today. As this battle continues to sort of rage on here, but uh, not even rage so much as like uh, dwindle. And as soon as he begins to make that final attack. Um, and Fender sees the amount of units he has. I can't imagine he will stay in this game. I think uh, Game Ranger knows he has it. One look at this. If you saw this army coming towards you, you would literally poop yourself. There is Fender is going to see this, and he's just going to his jaw is going to drop, and he's going to know that this game is way way over. Does he have powers to go along with it? Well, he almost has the wolf. He almost has the summon giant ability. And we actually have, why do we have, was, he, was Fenris able to actually rebuild his fortress? His hero powers are now up. Fenris able to rebuild his fortress in the bottom left. He did have a builder this whole time. Uh, so Fenris able to survive for now. But um, I didn't realize he had a builder left. I can't believe I never looked down in the bottom left hand side. Fenris trying to survive desperately, um, clinging to whatever life he has left. But it's just not going to be enough as this battle is going to be over very quickly in favor of Agmar. The sorcerers in the back as well. And these units are going to get very, very quickly cleaned up. Uh, the one uh, catapult here, Trebuchet, continuing to launch, but it's just not going to be enough. Uh, a couple of Condor Swordsmen, just not going to be enough here to win him this game. 
And this uh, army is going to continue to move forward here. Does have a Knights of the Lamroth out as well, but is going to go ahead and lose a ton of his structures here. This game has gone on for an incredible amount of time. I was going to cast a couple of games today, but I think that this is just going to be it uh, because of how long this game was. Does go ahead and lose uh, that building finally and uh, loses his barracks as well. Gamer you're not going to clean up a couple of additional buildings here in the back. And moving to the south, Waldir it looks like is going to be the one sent to deal with the with the stables. Sorry, it's been so long I'm forgetting the name of buildings. And Fenrir's going to make a final stand. Uh, not quite sure why, but uh, we'll go ahead and make the final stand. But Avalanche comes down, the wolf come, becomes summoned. And as he bursts out of his uh, ice prison there, uh, Fenris is going to, I think, half to GG out of this game. As the Battle Rages does go, go ahead and use the rebuild there just for fun. But uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this cast. Congratulations to Game Ranger for going ahead and uh, taking the victory here. A very hard, long-fought victory, but uh, he was the victor. And this is actually not doing any damage to that, but uh, regardless of that, the fortress goes down, and Fenris is going to lose this one. But uh, definitely appreciate the replays he sends in. Um, nice to see that he doesn't just send in games you know, where he wins all the time, so it's uh, you know, definitely a mix. So, we, so I certainly appreciate that. And uh, with the final barracks going down here, it is going to be GG. Thanks everybody for tuning in, and uh, I hope to see you all in the next cast. Master Cloud, signing out.